What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I wanted to show you another new car that I bought. Um, and it's my 2015 Ford F-150 Lariat. Um, I found this car at one of our sister dealerships. They had it in. Uh, really clean truck. Uh, has a bunch of options in it. And they gave it to me for a really good price. I've been wanting one of these trucks forever. Uh, never got a chance to find one, but I actually found this one in tons of service history. Super clean truck, not a dent, scratch, ding on it. Um, so without further ado, here it is. Like I said, this truck is a 2015 F-150 Lariat with a sport package, so it has a ton of really good options. Um, it has the 20 inch uh, Ford Performance wheels or sport wheels, whatever you want to call it. Um, looks like the previous owner put these like 33 inch uh, Nitto Ridge Grapplers on it, which I like these tires. I don't like the wheels though. Uh, I did get another set of wheels that's coming uh, probably next week sometime and I'll make a video on putting those in but they should fit nicely you might have to do some trimming and everything to make them fit um, but one of my favorite parts of this truck is it's got the power side uh, steps whatever and they are the factory Ford side steps so um, I love that about this truck it has these Bushwhacker, fender flares, whatever you want to call it, um, which I don't think I like. I think I might take these off and put the factory trim back here. I did take that one, the rear one off um, this past weekend, and they do have the factory trim back there, but they don't have the factory trim piece for the front one, so I have to get those, get them painted. Uh, my other plans for this truck is to paint the grill and the lower piece there to match the black and make that look a little bit better. It does have the LED uh, headlights, which I love. It's got the nice orange surround there and the LED headlights. Um, fog lights are LED too. It looks like that was added. Um, the only couple things that I've done to this truck so far is obviously clean it up. I debadged uh, the, the stickers. I took the sport stickers off of the bed. I didn't really like it. Um, and, you know, did a couple things in the interior to clean it up a little bit. But this truck does have a, a two and a half or three inch level on it. So the front sits a lot higher, which it should fit the new wheels pretty well after some trimming. Um, it does not have anything in the back. The, the back is all factory suspension. Um, I think over time I might get like a coil over lift for this thing and make it look pretty good. Um, it's got a Borla attack exhaust on it and it's decently loud. Um, since this truck is a 3.5 liter EcoBoost, I'm not a big fan of the six cylinder sound in a truck. So uh, Chris, one of my good friends, has a, a stock exhaust that we're going to swap out. We'll probably sell that exhaust. Um, to quiet this truck down a little bit because I don't really like it. Uh, another thing this truck has is a nice tonneau cover and the LED taillights. Um, it's a crew cab, so it's got the nice big rear seat, a nice panoramic sunroof, uh, heated seats in the rear. And then jumping in the inside, it's got the whole digital dash here pretty much um, it's got the regular sync radio since the 2015 which is a little bit more basic um, but you know still has Sirius and you know Bluetooth and all that stuff which I'm totally fine with um, 
The one thing I wanted in this truck and looking through these trucks for, for years, always wanting a newer F-150 is I hate the like gear shifter up here. I know it's like a regular truck thing. People say, oh, well, it's a regular truck thing. But I love the gear shifter down here. It's just a lot comfortable. You have somewhere to rest your hand when you're driving and you know it gives you more room nice center console here and everything so i mean i like this truck a lot i, I really do um it already has tinted windows i'm definitely gonna change the tint up a little bit make it a little darker in the front um but i do have some plans for this truck i, I might end up wrapping it um you know obviously putting a coil over lift on it that's a little bit bigger maybe some bigger tires and you know make it look really good i uh, you know i have some plans uh to work with this truck uh, in the near future, uh, maybe do some mobile ceramic coating and detailing and stuff um, that I've always kind of wanted to do and get out on my own to do. Um, but other than that, I mean, I love the truck and a couple odds and ends maybe need to be fixed and buttoned up, but I got a really good deal on it, which I'm really happy with. And, you know, we'll go from there. But um, I appreciate you watching the video, guys. Short video, just wanted to show you the new build or new fun toy that I got and uh, stay tuned because you know I'll have some other videos out probably next week with the wheels going on and the trimming and all that I'll show you how I'm going to do that whole process mounting and balancing these tires on those wheels and then trimming to make them fit so there's hopefully zero rubbing and then um, you know obviously show you guys what it looks like after that and then, you know, maybe make some other videos of different odds and ends. Maybe some off-roading videos. Let me know what you guys want to see with that. Um, and we'll go from there. But thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.